House Rosby of Rosby is a noble house from the Crown Lands. They rule the Castle of Rosby and its nearby village. Their blazon and arms consist of three red chevrons on ermine, with their motto not yet mentioned in the books as of yet. Rosby itself sits just northeast of King's Landing along the Rosby Road, the shortest road between the capital and Duskendale. Lying around the small but respectable castle is a village with wattle and darb huts, a simple sept, apple orchards and fields of barley. Prior to the conquest of Egon Targaryen, King Benedict II Adjustman added Rosby to the lands of the River Kings during his reign. Later, Halleck Hall conquered as far as Duskendale and Rosby, making Rosby a vassal house of the kingdom under the Isles and River. During Egon's conquest, House Rosby was one of the first houses to yield peacefully to House Targaryen, surrendering to Rhaenys Targaryen and her dragon Meraxis. Thus, the Rosby lands became part of the newly formed crown lands surrounding the area of the Egon Fort that would be developed into King's Landing. After House Targaryen took control of Dawn for a brief time after much bloody fighting, Lord John Rosby was named Castilian of Sunspear and the Warden of the Sands, commanded to rule Dawn in the King's name, while Stuarts and Castilians were named for other castles and lands across Dawn. However, Soon after, Egon and his host departed Dawn, returning to King's Landing, thinking the conquest was done. While ruling from Sunspear, Rosby was to be supported by Lord Harlan Tyrell's garrison at the Hellholt. When the Dornishmen soon returned from the Shadow City, Rosby was quickly bound and captured, while Egon's other Castilians and Stuarts were tortured. Rosby had a kinder end than most, with the aged Princess Mira Martel throwing him from the top of Sunspear. Lord Tyrell set out from Hellholt with his sons to avenge Rosby, but disappeared soon after in 5 AC. In the year 42 AC, after the death of King Aenys Targaryen and the usurpation of the throne by his brother Maegor, Sir Rayford Rosby defended King Maegor Targaryen during his Trial of Seven, but Rayford was slain during the fighting. The Lord of Rosby at this time remained loyal to Maegor, even as his downfall became all but certain, and he was one of the last men to see the king alive. In the chaos that followed the discovery of Maegor's body, Lord Rosby drank a cup of hemlock to join his king in death. His young son received forgiveness from King Jaehaerys I Targaryen at Dragonstone, with that young Lord Rosby dying from the shivers in 59 AC. At the onset of the Targaryen Civil War, the Dance of the Dragons in 129 AC, the then Lord Rosby was imprisoned in the Red Keep for supporting Rhaenyra Targaryen and the Blacks instead of King Aegon II Targaryen and the Greens, whom at the time controlled King's Landing. After Sir Criston Cole became Hand of the King to Aegon, Lord Rosby eventually switched sides and joined the Greens to avoid being executed by the King's justice. Due to Lord Rosby turning cloak, Rhaenyra considered him a faithless friend and had Lord Rosby executed during the fall of King's Landing, when she eventually took the city. Prince Daemon Targaryen argued Lord Rosby's eldest child, a 12-year-old daughter, be wed to the dragon seed, Hugh Hammer, to ensure his loyalty, but Rhaenyra refused and allowed Rosby's inheritance to be passed to a younger son over his elder sister. Later, after the storming of the dragon pits and fall of King's Landing, the same daughter refused Rhaenyra admittance to Rosby, leaving her on the run with few friends. Once King Aegon II regained the Iron Throne, after the death of Rhaenyra, Lord Rosby, Stokeworth and Darklyn were forced to surrender their castles to the Greens and pay heavy ransoms. Later, during the decisive Battle of the King's Road, the levies from Rosby abandoned Boros Baratheon and the Green forces, joining the side of the Rivermen, supporting the Blacks. During the year 212 AC, during the reign of King Aerys I Targaryen, Lord Brendan Rivers, known more commonly as Blood Raven, the Hand of the King, marched on White Walls to quash the infant Second Black Fire Rebellion before it could really begin. Among the houses who came in support of Blood Raven was the levies from House Rosby, who had joined the Hand's forces as they marched up the Rosby Road on their way to White Walls. During the events of the main book series, in the second book, A Clash of Kings, Lord Giles Rosby is frequently seen at court in King's Landing, always coughing. Giles is said to be an old, wealthy man. He owns a litter with rich carvings and silk drapes that carries him where he needs to go about court. According to Cersei Lannister, Giles's horses are better dressed than most knights she has seen. Beside his castle at Rosby, Giles also has spacious apartments in the kitchen keep in King's Landing. 
We know Giles has been married at least twice, but remains childless. The aunt of his second wife is Lady Tanda Stokeworth, who is herself third cousin to Giles. Dora Martell, the Prince of Dawn, once suggested Lord Rosby as a potential husband for his daughter, Princess Ariane Martell, a match she quickly refused. Giles attended the tourney on King Joffrey's name day, and he tries to cheer on Prince Tommen Baratheon when the boy rides against the Quintain. When he later receives a copy of Stannis Baratheon's letter concerning the illegitimacy of Queen Regent Cersei Lannister's children with Robert Baratheon, Giles forwards it to the small council. Due to the War of Five Kings, King's Landing is supplied mainly by Lord Rosby and Lady Stokeworth, as their lands are far enough away from the fighting to be untouched by the war, for now. Lord Giles survives the riots in King's Landing after the royal progression sees Princess Marcella Baratheon off to dawn. Upon returning to the Red Keep, Giles mentions that he saw the High Septon overwhelmed by the mob and torn apart. After the riots, Cersei fears for her son's life and decides to send Prince Tommen in secret to Rosby, dressing him as a page and putting him under the protection of Giles. Tyrion Lannister finds out about the plan from Sir Lancel Lannister, however, and has Giles and his entourage intercepted on the Rosby Road by Sir Jacelyn Bywater. Tyrion later decides to release Giles to appease Cersei. During the Battle of the Blackwater, Lord Rosby stays in the Queen's Ballroom with Cersei and the other noble ladies. It is said he drinks too much and passes out, which disgusts Cersei. During the events of A Storm of Swords, Giles is in attendance at the wedding of Sansa Stark to Tyrion Lannister. He accompanies Tyrion when he is sent to meet the delegation from Dawn. Tyrion later displaces Giles of his spacious apartments in the Kitchen Keep, in the Red Keep, much to Giles' annoyance. During the wedding feast of King Joffrey I Baratheon and Marjorie Tyrell, a melon lands in Lord Rosby's lap when dwarves reenact the War of Five Kings, before Joffrey later chokes to death during the feast. Giles is called as a witness for the prosecution in the trial of Tyrion Lannister, who had been accused of Joffrey's death. He tells the trial how he saw Tyrion fill the wedding chassel during the events of a feast for crows, after the funeral of Lord Tywin Lannister. Giles tells Queen Regent Cersei, he has commissioned a statue of Lord Tywin to be placed by the Lion Gate of King's Landing. Rosby's coughing has gotten much worse and he's beginning to cough up blood by this time. Cersei learns that Tywin, named Garth Tyrell, become the new Master of Coin. In order to prevent another member of House Tyrell from joining the small council, she lies to Lord Mace Tyrell telling him she has already named Lord Giles as the new Master of Coin to the council instead. Lord Rosby attends the wedding of King Tommen I Baratheon and Lady Marjorie Tyrell at the Royal Sept. Giles intends to replace many officials who had been appointed by Lord Peter Baelish, and Cersei has him finance Kyburn's experiment on Sir Gregor Clegane. Cersei styles Lord Rosby as Lord Treasurer rather than the normal Master of Coin. Noho Dimitis, an envoy from the Iron Bank of Bravos, meets with Giles a total of six times. Norho is irate when he learns from Cersei that she will suspend all payments of the loans from the Iron Bank until the War of Five Kings is over. The envoy hounds Giles so much that he is taken to his bed, coughing up copious amounts of blood. Fearing that the Tyrells will force Garth Tyrell as the new Lord Treasurer if, if Giles dies, Cersei orders Grand Maester Pycelle to keep Lord Rosby alive. Despite the Grand Maester's treatment and best efforts, Giles is overcome by his sickness, dies in the Red Keep. Cersei threatens Pycelle by insinuating that he killed Lord Rosby, manipulating the Grand Maester against her rival, Marjorie. Giles does not leave behind an immediate heir, but he does have a ward at Rosby. Cersei claims that Rosby's wish was to leave his lands and wealth to her son, King Tommen. As of the end of A Dance with Dragons, the Rosby situation has not been resolved, and there are a total of six claimants to the Lordship of House Rosby, its lands and incomes.